Hi there, and welcome back to my island in the sky. Um, I have done a bit of work to get this smeltery up and running fully, so you can see that each of the various metals have their own output here, which is nice and cool. And the, there's an input here with the hopper, and it just goes in, and everything works beautifully. Because it's going in by hopper, the hopper puts it in one by one which means that the metals never smelt at the same time which means that they all come out because the fluid ducts take them out quicker than the drain would without combining together so that's really cool uh, now if we come over the other side here you'll see that I have another couple of hoppers set up here with an oak barrel and this is actually getting my uh, carrots so I grab the carrots and I just put them in this hopper up here and it puts them into this barrel and automatically creates dirt for me. Um, I could probably set up a couple more of these with different things, but we might get to that later. Um, over in my machine workshop, I'm not sure how much of this you've seen already, but um, oh, I think I have some toast ready. Yeah. I've added another pulverizer here. And this second pulverizer takes the sand so that we are getting dust instead of sand into this one mainly. Although there is some sand, I think I put that in myself. And it's not getting anything. Um, let me just see why that's gravel in there, whitelist. Hmm, I'm not quite sure why that's not working. Let's, uh... Oh. Not enabled, maybe? And the sand's going in there now. We don't want that. Oh, I know why. It's because there's nowhere for the sand to go. So maybe we might put a... A chest. Do I have any wood? No, let me just grab a chest and, be and there we go, now it's working. So I've uh, filtered this one on gravel and it's going in there and I have put sand in here so then it should drop off any sand here. So we'll have a couple of sands coming in this one but there's not really much in sand that we can get that we can't get from the other ones um, except maybe for some cactus seeds and some other stuff like that but I have loads of them now already. So and you can see I have a ton of stuff here. So let me just pull all these metals out here and uh, I'll show you how this works. So at the moment I just have this chest here that I can throw all the metals into and that will just put them all into the hopper whenever it can. And that's that's it. We get all the um, ores, or not the ores, the ingots right back at the base in oh no we don't oh no my toast is gone and it all comes back and all ready for uh use so i'm getting redstone now i wasn't getting redstone before that was changed to dust because it's only in dust so the ghost on redstone that's cool and we're getting some other stuff as well a lot of this crap we don't really need well, we probably will need, but not yet. So, what are we going to do today? Let's have a quick look at the book, because there's actually... I've updated. I'm on one, two, one. One, or sorry, two, one, two. And I think this one was changed. I made some plastic sheets a while back. I had to manually select it. So let's get one of these. Saplings, half a heart, and a good reward bag. Is that glowstone bricks? Do glowstone bricks glow? They do a bit. Cool. Okay, uh, not a great reward in my opinion. 
so let's head back to the house now just drop off these blocks here and we can see how much ores that we have our ingots even so we have quite a lot we're still a bit low on iron actually um will these all fit in here all but one Half a heart? I have no hearts. Okay. So next thing that I want to do... Oh, there's another one there. Is I want to get this farm up and automated. Because I'm fed up of actually going and doing it itself. I'm going to quickly sleep in a minute. But that's what we're going to work on today is automating the farm. And yeah, so I'm going to go sleep and I'll be back in a minute. So, um, oh, where's my toes gone? There we go. So we're going to use MF4 to um, do it because it's in the mod pack and it's probably the easiest one. So harvester and planter is what we need. Um, I will get up and running actually a fertilizer eventually, but for now those will do. Uh, so we don't really need that much and we have definitely have enough to get everything that we need for both of these um, yeah so two machine frames so forth two machine frames I'm just I am very low on iron well not very low one two one two I need to cook some stone or clay as well three clay I'll just cook it here. Another two gold, and I need redstone from the other place. Let's just take all the redstone with us. That's probably the next thing I have to do is get all this storage up and running and sorting and all that sort of thing. I think that's probably the next thing. So I need reception coils or whatever they are. Yep. Uh, frames. You know what? We're gonna want an aqueous accumulator as well. So let's make this three frames. Do I not have glass with me? Oh, there we are. There's loads in there. Planter. Get these clay. And two pistons. Now the problem is I don't have a huge amount of wood, but I will use one of the plots of land in the this to get some up and run wood farming up and running. Uh, two pistons, and I think I need one for the aqueous accumulator, but I'm not sure, so I'll just won't make it for now. I need two shears. And I think I have some invar as well. I need three of those. And some copper. There's my planter. And there's gold, I think. No, gold. I don't think any eye likes to put it in if there's those things. So there we go. Now I'm also going to need some way of feeling this. <coughs> and I think I want to go with just a normal generator
Or we could run it off food. This is what we want, so that's a lot. I'll make that in a minute. And we also want an aqueous accumulator. Bucket servo tin. Yeah. So we need two iron, two tin, another three iron for the bucket. And there's an aqueous accumulator. Awesome. I think that actually completes another reward. There we are. Which gives me a quarter of a heart and a reward back. And I need to make a steam dynamo to progress. Ugh, I don't want to make a steam dynamo. I don't really like them. Let's see what we got. Useful. Protection V, wow. That's pretty good. No point wearing that yet. Okay, let me just craft a generator and get me some pipes and stuff and I'll be back in a minute. So we're gonna put down our harvester first because there's loads of stuff to harvest and we may as well. Uh, I know I'm balancing on the very edge of a cliff here, so I'm very, very afraid. There we go. And now let's step away from it. I just want to put this back on top. Okay, and we also are going to need an output. And I always have problems outputting to anything but a chest for these things, so I'm just going to output to a chest in this case. Grand. So let's run downstairs now. I notice that's unlit. <coughs> and let's put the harvester in as well. So harvester should be in this one. Our planter even. There we go. Awesome stuff, and let's just run the power from one to the other. And we actually want to go through this wood because I don't think we have enough otherwise. Yeah. Cool. So then we want some sort of power, and we might just pull the power off to one side here and put another duct. So I made a furnace generator. And I have some coal and we're just gonna put the coal in there for now. Now let's run this cable, which is our item ducts. We wanna not send it into that. That's the return so that it puts it into the planter. Let's just block out all these spaces for now. Oh, I need to update that as well. And then we'll just have a... Probably coming in this one. For now, we'll send it straight into the house once we have a better storage system set up. So, we just put the chest here to return those, and... Ah, yes. We're gonna need a lever or a servo to pull it out of there, so, um, let me just... Put some safety rails in there. 
Okay, so now we need some upgrades so that it does the whole field. And also a servo, probably. Yeah, I'll make a servo. Now I have upgrades here. I could use the iron one, but I want to think I'll just... Because I will make it bigger eventually. And I probably have more... Copper than tin. No, I have tin. So we'll just uh, we'll do a tin one for now. And I don't have enough rubber to do it anyway, so we'll just get the servo running and I'll get the rubber and I'll be back in a minute. So I've got loads of plastic and we can now make an upgrade. So we we're gonna go with tin. I think I need a gold chunk as well. So let's go with tin. Ah, I need redstone. Awesome. So now that should be able to do the full thing. And a bit more actually. Oh, we have never set that up to... So we want to put this up to, we'll put two as, we'll put three as that. We're going to want to put the rest as carrots for now. And then we're going to want to put, it's probably even too much. And I know you have to left click, otherwise the, the recipe doesn't stick. So, let's put one in here as well, and watch it go. Zoom, zoom, zoom! Now the only thing is, I think it might get planted here as well. You know, if we had enough dirt, we could actually just extend this whole thing around and push that back one. There we go. So it's, it's, it's off powering away there. Now, what we can do next is we have carrots in here. So we can get this. I'm currently using wheat as food. So the wheat we'll keep and actually turn into bread and then toast. But if we get this stuff, and let me just get another barrel because it will probably work better with two barrels. If I remember where I put my barrels, there we go. And then if we pull an item duct along here and get a serve out here. And then we need, wow, that's a lot of carrots. Whitelist that, 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 and boom. So this should start making dirt for me. So I have 15 dirt here, so I could probably even start pulling out some of these and um, extend the field a bit. And that should automatically pick those up in a second. And plant some more carrots. Nice one. You can see this is filling up now nicely. And then once it turns to dirt, it will just drop in here. Awesome. So now we have automated dirt, automated food. Well, mostly fo automated food. We could probably get some sort of psychic assembler to turn this into bread hmm that might be an idea yeah so there's two more things I want to change to this farm and I will be back in one second to do that okay so the first thing I want to do is I want to get some trees going in here as well so it looks like This and this or that one, so if you look at it like 
this. So we want to put the trees in here. And if we just knock these down, they should pop up. And then the second thing I want to do is I'm going to replace this water here with this aqueous accumulator we built earlier and put one of these sprinklers on top. And that should start going in a second. There we go. So that should randomly um, bone meal some of them. And I know actually if I put some grass around here, because it tries to bone meal these and they're just on normal grass, it will actually make flowers and stuff, which is really cool. So, that's my farm up and going. We can actually even put some bone meal in here and it should go faster. And I have a lot of bone meal because I'm getting it from the gravel. And that should really speed up the farm. And we've dirt. So off camera, I'm gonna extend this out one more. So that these upgrades are being fully utilized. So that means I'm gonna have to move this witch water and stuff. I'm not sure if I have a silky shovel. I don't think I do, unfortunately. Um, I might have enough to make one though. Yeah, it's possible. I do have loads of ancient spores around anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So, yeah, the only thing, the problem is that this needs power. Yeah, and it looks like it's going to use up all this power. So we might look into a way of keeping that running without having to refill it. Okay, I'll be back in a minute and we're gonna do something else. So the farm's all running and I just want to do one more thing. Um, and that is, and I know I'm gonna get comments about this. We're gonna set up a system here to get this automatically going. So I have a sawmill here. And we're gonna put a servo in this and whitelist oak wood. And we will output this, ooh, whoa, what happened there? Output it there, and then we also need a trash can to get rid of the sawdust. There we go. So that should keep that fueled with wooden planks. And in turn, keep the planter. and harvester going. So we'll just throw in loads and that should start cutting them down and then when it's actually gets it, it should do it itself. Cool. So this is gonna pump in here and start charging this again and this could store 500 so it's good to go. So, that's pretty much the farm up and running. At some point, we'll have to make it bigger and badder. Uh, the other thing I did, just quickly there, is I created a steam dynamo just to complete this quest. So let's go ahead and do that. I think I'll go with the reward bag. Oh, that wasn't a choice, you just got both. Okay, but not great. It's not great at all. Oh, I wonder how this works. Does this work? No. And then the other thing is, this now opens up this one, which I've already done as well, which is just get a pulverizer. So, claim reward again. I got a... Fortune 3 diamond hammer. Oh wow. And there's a quarter of a heart. 
Full art. Cool. I wonder, do I get lots of stuff when I hit this? Very nice reward. Oh, a load of blood magic stuff. I have no idea how blood magic works, but I'm sure we'll get into it at some point. Let me just hammer down some stone here because I want to see how this fortune affects. <laughs> Very quick. Uh, it's kind of useless because we don't have any drops from it, so fortune is kind of pointless. Interesting. Oh, uh, let's move these things over to here. So, that's that. And then this one I have two because that was the planter and the harvester. Oh, the sludge boiler can produce dirt as well. That's cool. So we build a stickle, a sickle and a, a boiler at some point, and that will finish that reward as well. So we're actually going quite well. Uh, we need an ender pearl and soul sand to complete that one. We just have to build a squid spawner for that one. So, I mean, we're getting good in terms of quests. And you notice this, I, I got some sheep here as well, which is cool. <laughs> they're eating the grass and they're loving it. So, the next thing I want to start looking at is getting some better storage. Because this thing is firstly not automatically outputting all its ores into the smeltery, which would be cool. But also... We need places to put all the stuff that we're getting out of it because we are getting a lot of stuff. A lot. Look at all this stuff. It's mad. Okay, so I'll be back in a minute. So I went ahead and made the sludge boiler and we'll start the storage upgrades next time. And I made the sickle as well. So let's go ahead and see how this works. I might need a fluid duct. And this probably needs power. doesn't seem to have any outputs on it. So there's the sludge in there and then we need power. But anyway, the real reason I was doing that too was to finish this quest as well. We got loads of quests done. So that's done and we're going to take these ender lilies. Because, to be honest, I have all the rest of these. Oh, look at this. I need a... Oh, I need... A bucket of sludge as well. Bucket of sludge. Let me, I'll be back once I get this. So I have a bucket of sludge. Boom. Let's get my ender lilies. Oh, and I got a flux sickle as well. Oh, how cool is that? 
Oh, really cool. I could use that for some things. I don't know what yet, but I'm sure. So I'm gonna go plant these ender lilies. And we can start getting some ender, uh, ender pearls. Okay, so... That's all we have time for for today. Uh, we did quite a lot of work on our farm today. Uh, so we're getting automated dirt, automated food, automated wood. Uh, it's running itself, uh, so that's good. And, um, yeah, so we'll go down to increasing our storage next time and getting sorting and everything like that running. So until then, I will see you guys later.